My name is Jack W. Peters. I'm the president and lead instructor for the American Explosives Group. We do training for explosives and blasting that includes safety and leadership. When you're working with explosives, you want to do so in a way that is effective and safe. Our program was established in 2009 and we can help you do just that. Now, the best companies never stop training. When I was younger, I was actually a little bit surprised. They're already the best. Why do they keep training? That's how they stay the best. If you're not investing in your people, you're coasting. And if you're coasting, you can only do that in one direction, downhill. Our training is the best. I know everyone says that, but in our case, it's true. And here's why. The first reason is most explosives training is either online or you're watching someone else demonstrate how to use explosive materials. If your people are going to work around explosives, they need to be comfortable with them as well as respect them and understand their power and effect as well as their potential danger. You just don't learn that by watching someone else. The second reason, and probably more importantly, is we've worked with the best blasters across the country in many different subject matters from mining, construction, demolition, explosives awareness, even EOD. We've documented this information in our textbooks and our training materials so we can bring the latest and best information that we learn directly to you. That's what makes us the best. You know that safety is critical. You're already working with state and federal safety agencies. Some of you might even be getting fined by them. Well, we're going to teach you the safety trifecta. These are three simple and effective ways that will allow you to stop virtually any preventable accident. And the crazy thing is, is you won't learn this information from those other safety organizations. The first action is to ask the right questions. Chances are your people know how to make their job safer, but they may not tell you unless you ask them. Let them create their own solutions. The second action is work in high performance teams. Teams watch out for each other. Dysfunctional work groups do not. The third action is understanding triggers. These triggers could come from environmental issues like temperature or uh, human factors like fatigue and attitude. Either way, if you can recognize triggers, chances are you can stop a tragedy before it happens. The next topic is leadership. My victory trifecta is leadership, teamwork and innovation. Now corporations pay a lot of money to learn these skills. Why shouldn't your blasters know them also? These skills will not only help your chances of success, but it will also increase your safety and efficiency. We can do training at our site in Lake Havasu, Arizona, or possibly at your location. Our training typically includes one day in the classroom and one day in the field blasting. Now the group is divided into small teams and when working in the field, one team will learn and prepare and execute a mission while the other teams watch and learn. At the end of the day, there'll be a major mission where all the teams have to work together using leadership, teamwork, and cross-team collaboration. This is when leaders in each of the teams have to communicate with each other to avoid confusion and get the job done in the most safe and efficient manner. Would you like your people to work like that? Of course you would. Here's an example of what that looks like. This is the Utah Department of Transportation clearing a mock landslide. 
Our clients include the best companies and agencies in the country. If you would like to join that list, let's talk. Find us at AmericanExplosivesGroup.com.